Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Player Career Mode here on FC24. Hopefully you guys had a good weekend and your team won, unless your team is Carlisle, in which case, hopefully you lost because Cambridge United are away against Carlisle this weekend. Today, we start at home against Manchester United before away against Bournemouth and then away again in the Champions League, this time against Rangers after the defeat to Benfica in the last episode. Uh, we could really do with picking up six points with Rangers home and away in the Champions League to put ourselves in a much better position in the uh, European group. But we're not going to waste any time. We're going to jump straight in today. We're saying thank you to Hyperfail, to Adstar and to Daniel for their continued support on stream. Do leave your comment section on the YouTube videos as well and your name can be up there in tomorrow's episode, of course. And, of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well and you won't miss out on any more. And I'm doing this as a quick, short stream before I go out to go go-karting. So... Uh, I'm not wasting any time. We're going to jump straight into the action. It's Tottenham versus Manchester United. Here we go. All right, dribble success of 30%. Winning the game is going to be difficult against Man United. I know you're curious to know who's in there starting 11. I'm curious too. We're actually starting Axel von Dongen. Sorry, von Axel Dongen at left wing. So we're weaker than we usually should be. Macamarino back on the bench again, unfortunately. Uh, Jorginho is now 93, but still on the bench. Varnesen's dropped. Brahim Diaz not playing. So we're not as full strength as we could be, or arguably should be. Not even arguably. We should be stronger for this game. They've got Jaime Valencia in goal. Foyt, uh, Tamori, Mosquera as a weak link, and Ryan Sessegnon. Okay, attack the right-hand side of our offensive unit. Bailey Byrne in midfield for them, as well as Andre Almeida and Julian Brandt with Ahmad Diallo. Then Wimps up top through the middle, and Marcus Rashford on the left. On the bench, they have... A 95 rated Jamie Bodie as well as Anthony and a couple of other regens. And they perhaps should be stronger as well. But if they're not at full strength and we're not at full strength, which side is actually going to be the better on the day? Well, we'll find out, shall we? History beckons for me, apparently. What history beckons? I don't know. Presumably a goal scoring record. We have been... Not prolific in the Premier League so far, but certainly we've started our season well here at Tottenham. Took a few games to get up and running, but once we hit our stride, there wasn't really much of an issue. We could do with some stronger teammates, though, certainly in the midfield. And now that we've lost some strength out wide as well, with Smith Rowe not starting, we'll wait and see if actually we're able to still compete at the very top. Dan Gore in midfield for us is a former Man United kid. So... There's a lot of competition here and a lot of mixed emotions for some. But I'm sure we'll be professional about it. We'll get our job done. Tommy Doyle, former Manchester City man. Again, emotions running high. Dan Gore just couldn't shake off the defender. And Dan couldn't get the shot away either. 22 minutes in, it's scrappy so far, as you can quite clearly tell. Rashford looking for a killer counter-attack, though. Wimpenny on the end of it. Rashford's going again. Can Wimpenny find the pass? No. Rashford to Julian Brandt. United have... I don't know who's been the better side, actually. Neither side have tested the goalkeeper yet. Both sides getting forward and then losing the ball in the final third. Wimpenny in the box here. And he loses the ball in the final third. Silo can't keep it in, though. Should have done mind. Bailey Byrne will deliver. It's not a bad delivery. It's a decent header. It's so good, in fact... But it's gone in off the underside of the bar. Julian Brandt gives Manchester United a 1-0 lead at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And that's a pretty exceptional header from there. Take nothing away from that goal. That is very good indeed. And that just makes us even more annoyed about the defender not just clearing the lines and allowing them to have the corner in the first place. 1-0 United. Wimpenny over the top. Into Ahmad Diallo given away. Shillo doesn't cover himself in glory once more. Burning to Brandt for a second time. And Wimpenny in the box. He's got Rashford waiting. It's going to squirm free for us. And I'm kind of glad it did because 2-0 down. And I think that's probably game done and dusted already, even though we're not yet even at half time. We have not been at it here. That's him just knocking it on for himself, I think. And he's absolutely messed it up. Yeah, we're going to be 1-0 down at half time or more. And uh, we need to fix up here. This Tottenham side looked really promising when we first came here. But... I don't know. I don't know whether I'm losing faith a little bit. It's only one game, but on the back of that Benfica defeat, it does feel like there's a bit of a pattern emerging. Maybe I'm overreacting. Get that out wide. 
completely shook off the man that was with me. Went down the line for the return ball and was promptly ignored. Bradley, give that to Solomon. He's gone backwards again. There's, there's a lack of drive, I think, about this Tottenham side. There's a lack of forward intensity and forward intent. We get the ball in an area where we could play a quick ball in behind. And we're just going sideways or backwards. Which isn't really the Ange way, is it? Ange ball is very aggressive. Very high press. Very offensive. And gung-ho. And this Tottenham side seem... Nothing like that at the moment. Marcus Rashford showing his quality. And it's 2-0 Man United. And I think the boos are probably justified with the way the team's playing right now. Lovely mullet there, Bailey. Fofana and Shilo. Fofana again. Nice. Jordinho to me. Out wide. And Ahmad. Not Ahmad. Von Axel gets it to me again. I've got Tamori with me. Not going to be able to get a shot away. Gore does. Valencia with the save. He probably should have got one pass extra to Jordinho. But we'll have the corner come in here. Gore's gone off now. Uh, it's just rubbish. Jordinho underneath it. Valencia with the save, but these near post corners really need fixing in the gameplay because it just doesn't beat the first man. It just is awful. It's so bad. Really hope it's better for 25. I'm going to go for a worldie, and I very nearly got one. Valencia with a smart save. We're pressing now at least, but I get the feeling it's probably too little too late in this one. Another change. Brahim Diaz coming on now, which hopefully will give us a little bit more aggressiveness offensively. Mano Solomon was the main culprit for going bloody backwards. Hopefully Brahim Diaz will be a bit more positive now he's on the pitch. Wimpenny holding the ball up. I am at risk of being subbed out here at the moment. I think anything under a 6.5 and you really are genuinely at a high risk of getting taken off the pitch but we'll try and still impact the play as best we can. I'll call for it here because I want to try and play Jordinho through which is what we've done. Can he get me an assist? No. It's well blocked by a defender and still Tottenham Cannot find a way through in this one. Mikel Marino's off the bench now as well. Brahim Diaz to me. I think actually my teammate ran into me there and took the ball off me as I was trying to find a pass. 15 to go. It's been a calamitous day in North London. Brahim Diaz given the ball. And now I've got enough time and space here to just get away. Oh, oh mate. It's, uh, it's one of those days, chat. It's one of those days, YouTube. Get me off this pitch. That was horrendous. I even slowed up. Purposefully took my finger off the sprint trigger to try and ensure I got an accurate finish. And I uh, did not get an accurate finish. A couple of minutes before our misery is over. If we aren't better against Bournemouth, then I'll be pretty disheartened about the way things are going at Tottenham so far this season. There is such potential in this group to have a wonderful season and win stuff. But at the minute, it's not coming together. Manchester United are a very good side. And we can't take just that one game in isolation as a sign of how things are going at Spurs. I've gotten some good goals this season. We've gotten some good results this season. But they're not coming as regularly as we want. Even if I had buried my chance that I fluffed, we still wouldn't have gotten anything from the game. Drop to the bench on the back of that one. Understandably so. The next game against Bournemouth actually isn't for a little while, I think. We may find ourselves on the bench. Yeah, there's an international break of all the times to fall out of the starting lineup. That probably wasn't the time to do it, was it? We find ourselves ninth in the table at the moment. We've only scored six goals as a team. And I've got five of those. So that's where the issue is. The team aren't scoring enough goals. Because, as you've seen from the way that we played in that last game, we're not positive enough. It's just me with seven this season in all competitions, Shillow with one, Gore with one, and Tammy with one in the Carabao Bloody Cup. This team needs to fix up, and it needs to fix up quick. To make matters worse, I come on here against Bournemouth with us 1-0 down. Fevre has scored the goal for them early doors, and we're actually trailing here, coming on at right wing for Manuel Solomon. Smith throw restored to the starting lineup here, but Ryu is in to the defensive line ahead of Fafana. Tammy Abraham, the man through the middle. It's good, a good chance to get myself back in the 11 for the game against Rangers, but come on, 1 0 down here. This Tottenham side, I think, definitively now, are absolutely in a bit of a, a, bit of a rut. 
Four passes of any kind, but a goal from outside the box. Yeah, okay. We'll go for the passes. I'm actually on the corner here, so um, that's one, I hope. And then, oh, I was hoping to just whip that into the far left corner and make the biggest impact of our career thus far. Here's Ryu, centre-back, into Doyle. I'm going to go for the ball. I'm going to ask for it. Matty Cash intercepts. Please tell me that pass from corner counted. It did. Oh, good. To Males again. And Antoine Semenyo still here at Bournemouth, seven seasons in. Matty Cash around the outside. They might even have kind of developed Antoine Semenyo to be their main man through the middle if Dom Solanke's moved on. Here's Joyce. And Anthony now. Jaden Anthony. We've got him at Leeds. In our main channel career mode. I say actually we've got Melise. He just got recalled in the in the January transfer window after I didn't play him after the first half of the play enough for the first half of the season. So actually we don't have Jaden Anthony at Leeds. We had Jaden Anthony at Leeds. This is all Bournemouth since our corner. Can't get the ball back. Can't hold possession when we do. The decision to come to Tottenham, I think, ultimately will prove to be the right one. But we're certainly not hitting the ground running as a team. I've done well. Not as good as I could have been, obviously. We've had a few chances where we absolutely should have just buried a one-on-one and, one and I've put it wide or straight at the keeper. But I've definitely been the best player for the team so far this season and I don't think there's any really shadow of doubt about that. Tammy plays the one-two with me. I need to remember I'm a right winger for this game, not the central striker. Tammy had drifted out wide then. I need to offer my services here on the wing. I'll call for this from the normal. Nearly lost it there. Doyle, forward here for Tottenham now. There's less than 20 minutes to go. Tammy's made a good run. He's got support. All he's found is a defender. At least he's worked hard to get it back, though. Cut this back. Cut this back, Emil. Cut this back. Come on. We're all waiting for the pass, pal. There it is. I probably should have gone to Tammy. Went for the shot. Blocked by the second defender. And cleared away. Good header. Still, we could come forward. Bissouma will look for me. Tammy is there. Okay. Gore. Call for the through ball. Get it under my control. And Doyle! There's the equaliser. An assist for me. And someone else has finally scored a goal in the Premier League. Sideways. Backwards. Forward, lads. Come on. This game is there for the taking. Lenormand, Gore, to me. It's a shit pass. Tammy could have won it back. Tammy still could win it back. Tammy hasn't won it back. I'm going to put pressure on Hetardo. Trying to force the mistake. A rushed clearance. Actually does find a teammate. Anthony, I think, handballed that. Are we going to get a free kick here? And there might be one final chance. I'm on the free kick. No, thank you. I want to be in the middle. Let's give that to Varnesson. And the right back can loft this into the danger zone. Is there a late winner in this for Tottenham Hotspur? It's lifted. It's headed my way. I'll try and flick that to a teammate. Was certainly not a flick, was it? That was a full-blooded whack in the square in the bloody forehead. All right. A 1-1 draw then against Bournemouth. Well, we've come off the bench here. We've made an impact, gotten an assist, and the team have picked up a point. It's not great, but it's better than we've had in the last two. So... Slowly but surely, maybe we might just be able to turn this round. We should be back in the starting lineup for the game against Rangers. Let's go and get three points at Ibrox. Back in the starting lineup with the assist and the match rating to go with it. Everybody a bit downheartened in the dressing room. And I understand that. We're obviously downheartened uh, playing right now. But this against Rangers away is my 300th game of my career. Including all competitions, friendlies, finals, European competition, domestic cup competition, domestic league competition, game number 300, and quite an arena to celebrate it in as well. A stadium I've never played in before on any FIFA that I can recall over the years. I don't remember Ibrox being in the game for the last decade or so or more. Again, four passes in the opponent's half is now rather than just four passes. Dribble success rate will do. It's certainly an atmospheric stadium, Ibrox, and they will, as ever, get the place well and truly rocking. But we'll hope to have them rocking out of frustration rather than rocking because they're absolutely flying. They've got one point so far in the Champions League. We have three. Both sides need a result to keep their European dreams alive this season. And hopefully, after losing the first but drawing the next, we can win the third. 
I would love this milestone game to be marked in a positive manner. But the Emil Smith Rowe, I think the less said about that, the better. They've bypassed me there, but that's fine for the time being. Vanderson has man or Solomon. I'll call for the cross. It's Brahim Diaz, in fact, that's starting for us. Win that header. Danilo does well. Todd Cantwell gets it forward. And Rangers come forward. Young to Danilo. Young again. And Felterson. Sterling. Not Raheem. Presumably Kazaya. Kazaya Sterling, perhaps? Dujon Sterling. That's the right back. It was just so far forward. I thought it was uh, thought it was the winger. So Antonio Gomes in goal at 79. Uh, Kumbula 79. Daniel Utz. Lazar, Laziri, sorry, Feltz, and they've got oh, 79 seems to be the average rating, doesn't it? Sifuentes, Todd Cantwell, Ben Young, Jaden Braff, and Danilo up top. It's not a bad side for Rangers. That side certainly would stand a chance of uh, battling to stay in the Premier League for sure. Hopefully, though, they won't be able to deal with us over the course of 90 minutes. And we have them again in the not-too-distant future in the return game in the group stage. Now, I need to get this ball into the back of the net. And I can't beat the man, let alone the goalkeeper. Those fake passes or fake shots never really seem to fool defenders even remotely close to as well as they used to a couple of game iterations ago. The defenders almost read it before you've even turned. Don't know whether you guys feel the same. Almost certainly better with a, with a step over now in that situation. Fettelson in the box, deflected over the bar for a Rangers corner. Really good stadium, this. It's nice to play in a new arena. Proper old school. Four stands, no corners. I see there's a corner in that side, isn't there? Four, four stands, minimal corners. <laughs> Stay on side, Chess. Runners on that side. Smith throws forward. Needs to get myself back into a danger position here. Dan Gore through the gap. It's a lovely ball. Nippo Stopi! Brilliant ball. Equally good finish. We lead at Ibrox. Match day 300 for me is marked with a goal in the Champions League. It's all about the weight of pass there and the timing of it too. Actually, I was further onside than I thought I was. I thought it was borderline, but straight through and into the back of the net. Good. Oh, you are having... Is there anything more FIFA than that? I really genuinely don't know how to react to that in a professional manner. Gameplay, AI versus AI, needs work. End of sentence. Don't burn bridges. Jaden Braff in behind, racing away. And cleared away. Well, I say cleared away. Cleared up. And still danger persists here. Intercepted well by Jordinho. Smith Rowe. Back to Basuma. Let's move it out wide again. Go, Emmy. You'll make a run down the line, mate. Don't just bloody stand there, you lazy bum hole. Eve Basuma. This will come to me, or it should come to me. Please come to me. I'll call for it now. Got Jordinho with me. I should go left here because there's more space for Emil Smith Rowe. I'm calling for it. And in it comes. Headed behind by Kumbula. The chance from the set piece, maybe. Unlikely, but maybe. I get myself to the near post here, which is where it's probably going to end up. And it does. And I've won the header, but it's shit. Here's Jung. Two minutes to go. Danilo, space. Lowry. Good defensive pressure to ensure that they don't get the chance. They've had the chance. They've hit the bloody post. What are you doing, Fafana? Wesley Fafana single-handedly trying to throw this game away. Check the man's bank account for bribes. Unbelievable. We draw 1-1 against Rangers. I get a goal on my 300th appearance. And in classic EA style, we concede a goal and don't get the win. 1-1 at Ibrox. Nice to play in a fresh new stadium, but oh, that goal we conceded is just laughable. We should keep ourselves in the starting lineup for the next game, which is in just a few days' time against Liverpool. But oh my lord, was that painful. 8.2 and man of the match somehow.
City win 4-2 away from home against our former team, Salzburg. I actually don't keep myself in the starting lineup with that, which is frustrating. Despite the man of the match performance. The game against Liverpool is in just a few days' time. We're very close to uh, going up another level. So we're not far away now from being able to improve our guy yet further and maybe make him 88 rated. But Liverpool aren't having a great season either. They're only two points above us. and We are at home against them next. Then we've got Leeds away in the cup midweek. So some, some big fixes coming around here quick, quick and fast now. Liverpool at home is a massive one in the league. Chelsea at home is a massive one in the league for the episode after tomorrow. Leeds away in the cup is the chance to uh, progress in a cup competition. And then we are needing results in the Champions League because I'm pretty sure we are third in the Champions League group stage table. We are somehow second. Benfica top after drawing with Rangers and drawing with Barcelona but beating us. It's anybody's game in the Champions League. So even though we floundered in the first half of the group stage, we do still have it very much in our own hands to progress, but we're going to have to be better. We're absolutely going to have to be better. And as you can tell from the spreadsheet, that's now five games without a win here for Spurs. I've picked up four goal contributions in those five games, but the team are not performing right now. They were. They are not at the moment. We cannot afford that to become a trend that continues much further. But with Liverpool next, I don't know as we're going to turn the corner and get back on track that much sooner. Leeds and Brentford absolutely winnable, but so was the one against Rangers, although it was obviously a unique scenario for the goal we conceded. We certainly should have won that game at Ibrox, but we didn't. And we'll have to go again next time. Join me tomorrow for Spurs versus Liverpool and the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. But for now, that's all for this one. Thank you very much for watching, YouTube. We'll see you next time.